this one. <laughs> so if these are recording just uh, audio, what, what are we posting to YouTube exactly? I think we're just going to play the audio over like a thumbnail. <laughs> like, I've seen some people do that. Oh, th that's not exactly the impression I was thinking of okay. when I first thought about this. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to do? Because <laughs> I could set up my camera or yeah. something, but it only does like... 16 minutes at a time specifically yeah it's like a weird weird setup it's got well even then we could just clip the the files together right yeah but it i think it like stops and you have to go and press record again yeah i was thinking like the uh where it's just like two people talking back and forth with mics kind of podcast just because yeah. it was going on youtube i figured it would be Oh, so <laughs> you you understand what what I understand what you're saying. <laughs> I've s yeah, I've seen those. Yeah. But also, I don't have a great camera, so it'd be like twenty six minutes instead of how 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 long you how how long were you thinking? Th uh, probably about thirty minutes. Thirty minutes. All right, we could do that. Okay. <laughs> it would be the same one you used to like do let's plays on right well that's my webcam okay we could like turn the table turn the table to the camera oh i could even set my i have tripods i could set up yeah. this i could set up this camera right there <coughs> i mean maybe like this would be a good you know way to get it started well, we could sit on a what like just this <laughs> Because then people would just get used to used to the the sound. Oh, and then eventually they'd be like, "Oh, video." The oh, video, that's so great. the video would be like an added bonus, like yeah. that just comes. Yeah. Are you gonna keep the mic like right next to your mouth the whole time? Because I feel like that might make the audio a little <laughs> okay. weird. I don't know. I don't have much experience with the, this mic. What experience do you have with other mics that would make this mic different? Feedback through oh. headphones. Oh, feedback. Okay. Well, I just tested them earlier and they seem to work, so. Hitting my I'm going to judge anything. you to what? see what a good mouth vicinity would be for this mic. <laughs> oh, just <laughs> probably like here. See, they don't even know what, what's going on, so it's like. So it's our village things. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> what? Like, are those uh, on the table to be talked about? Oh, village things. Or is that like a no go? Because people might hear it. What kind of village thing? Well, just like things, maybe like, from today even. Oh. I know that Tony watches my YouTube. Yeah. I think, um, I don't even know who all else watches my YouTube. We've got a few people here that do. I think Simpson might. Miss Hana, probably. Yeah. Well, I didn't want to, like, put anybody in the hot seat and then somebody listen and be like, Eli, you can't be saying these things. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I don't know. I I was also thinking about profanity too, like if if that's a viable option because there's gonna be people I know listening to it or yeah. like, oh, are you there? You know? But I don't know. So is the I guess we haven't laid the ground rules yet. No, we ha that's what I was trying to talk to you about the other day and you're just like, Oh we'll we'll figure yeah. it out when we do it. So. Well I've been really busy this week overall actually. Yeah. And Besides work? Yeah. And annoyed uh that my hand is not operating as it should. Oh, it, are you using the hand that's sprained yeah. to do the mic right now? Yeah, but it's not that. I mean, I packed with it today. Oh, okay. But I still can't twist it properly. Hmm. Is it just like um, just like your wrist, or does it hurt up in your hand too? It's pretty much just my wrist now. Yeah. It started out as my whole hand, hmm. but uh. Yeah, so like did you uh you when you went uh over to town hall after uh we got down from the hill, did you see Phil's gold chain? No. I didn't actually go down there, I went straight uh, here. 
<laughs> what, what, what was he doing? Okay, so you know how he, he normally wears one? No. I didn't know Phil wore a chain. Well, he normally like always does. Even when he com- comes over to game nights when he was with us, he was like he'd wear like a gold chain. I I never recognized. I, I never saw that. I kind of feel like my voice is going through one of the yeah. guitars. <laughs> yeah, yeah, me too. I think I noticed it now that I have my fan off because I always have the fan yeah. on. Yeah. Well, so he's wearing a turtleneck and that that pea coat, right? Yeah, yeah. And at the funeral, like I thought it looked, you know, pretty cool. It was a little out there, but. You know, the gold chain was nowhere to be found. Yeah. So, uh, I guess he thought it was a good idea after we got to town hall that he was going to pull his gold chain out from under the the turtleneck. Out, like, up and yeah, out from the turtleneck? Yeah, up and out and just let it hang like like this. Why, <laughs> Why would you do that? <laughs> like, so just the very <laughs> end of it? So, like, the rest of it's still <laughs> down on his yes. neck? <laughs> So he's like walking around God. talking to people with this little two inches of chain just like dangling yeah. off the the neck. And uh, I wanted to say something to him about it because uh, there's no way it accidentally happened. Yeah. You can't just like accidentally turn your head and then it just goes <laughs> boop, pops right out. No. The chain just pops out, but I didn't want to be mean. So uh, he started. Phil, Phil that was a, that's a terrible fashion <laughs> sense. You should never do that again. So, like, if you wanted to, like, wear it completely outside, yeah. that would be okay, or just c- tuck it, but, so, he walks over to where me and Kay are sitting, and Kay's like, um, Phil, what is that around, co- poking out of your, your collar? And he's like, it's my chain. <laughs> it's my chain? <laughs> he's and like. Is that all? <laughs> she's like, you, you might want to tuck that. It looks <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> oh, my God. And he's like, oh, Okay. <laughs> Oh, we should probably explain that we were just at a burial. Yeah. Yeah. For people who don't know that. Well, uh, yeah, I guess. I mean, I didn't want to talk too much about it just because. Yeah, because it's depressing. But, yeah. It was freezing up there, though. It was really cold. We had a burial up on the hill, and there was, um, the wind was blowing. And it was like, it's a nice temperature outside, but as soon as the wind starts blowing, yeah, half my face was like frozen. <laughs> yeah, because it was all coming from the one direction. I still smell like the incense they were burning. Like not to distract from the like the seriousness of it, but the flag folding thing really got to me a little bit. Yeah, because like just to see how serious they take uh, something like that was pretty crazy. Yeah. Because he was in the the Air Force, I think, so they had them. My grandpa had a similar uh, b- burial. Oh, really? Yeah, but the guns were way closer, <coughs> so it was, like, right in my face when the guns went off. It was like really I didn't loud. even think the guns sounded that loud. I was surprised. No, they weren't. I guess they just fire blanks, though, right? Yeah, yeah they do. But, um, yeah, the, the cases will come out. Yeah. yeah I, that's what this one is right here. This one's from my grandpa's burial. Uh, they'll come out on the ground, and you can pick them up as like souvenirs from the funeral. Do they normally do that stuff for yeah. the village funeral? Well, no, no, no. They mostly just do it for like military people. Yeah, and like they don't have to do them, but um, people like to do them for people who are in the military. But yeah. Well, also Leanne did good about not really making a scene. Yeah. <laughs> so I think everybody was happy about that. It's just like quietly. Yeah. Uh, you know, just. <laughs> <what's> that? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it was. I was surprised that it went so smoothly, but. Yeah, it did go pretty smooth. Anyways, how was the uh, event afterward where Phil had his chain poking out? But like, what was it? Did they just have like snacks and stuff, and everyone's yeah, like, "Yeah, it's oh, it's just snacks." Uh, yeah. Everybody was talking uh, like pretty loud, and mm-hmm. for some reason, they decided to make an announcement that was, uh, "Hey, I know everyone's talking really loud, 
but there's going to be more snacks soon because more people are coming and we're bringing food so you just keep on talking like seems like a bit of an unnecessary why, announcement why did you have to say that because you could just say hey have your attention for a minute we're gonna have more snacks soon yeah so expect that that's it you know thought would have been better and the the immediate family got a to get the snack so oh well of course i hope so yeah <laughs> all the little kids run up oh snacks and then the morning family's just standing there like but i wanted snacks first well so Need some cry more so like, it's kind of a worry that i have with the the pago household like yeah and that's uh so you know how i got johnny and isaiah the hot wheel set yeah okay so i was like it's been like a week or two i think no it's been about a week now and so i hadn't heard anything like about if they liked it or from them oh, yeah. or did from you get it for their birthdays is that what it no was? they were playing with like uh like a paper towel roll cut in half as like a half pipe and like a box <laughs> for their car so i was like you know i'll just i'll just get them a hot little <laughs> set yes yeah. for one it's pretty uncharacteristic of me and i figured you know i can just do it make a good impression <laughs> on my wife's dad <laughs> <laughs> yeah well so so we got it for him and like the first night i brought it over uh, they didn't get to play with it because they were both in trouble oh yeah so they're always in trouble <laughs> though <laughs> so it's like when can so, we play with it so i was kind of wanting to help him set it up and everything yeah but i was just like if they're having a hard time i just told mitch to, to help set it up for him mm -hmm. but i figured they'd be like they would talk to me like in a day or two and tell me that they were really enjoying it or something yeah. so uh, i think you've told me this story before well this Keep was going. one with uh, somebody else's story not my own oh, okay but because I, I would just talk to to home today to ask it if they were enjoying it so i was like oh so today yeah. like after the barrel you asked her yeah. about it oh so, my God. so i was like okay I'm, I'm listening. <laughs> i was just like her johnny and uh, you know as i enjoy the hot wheel set and you know she's like yeah yeah they they've they're enjoying it they're s they've started to enjoy it to a point where they're putting everything through it <laughs> what so, <laughs> so but there's a there's more than cars to put through it <laughs> what so it's a one of those hot wheels that has the the, the turbo port oh or, yeah i love it it's like it'll shoot your car and speed mm -hmm. it up and she's like yeah they've been putting like their their trucks monster truck rcv toys through it and i'm like well first off i don't even know how that fits yeah but how does that fit? they've been you know i guess they, they've actually enjoyed it which is nice oh that's good and they didn't get it taken away instantly which oh was that's good what i was worried about <laughs> but then she's like uh but yeah i told them if they if they keep on putting these oversized things in it I'm just gonna give it away to someone else. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Tells that right to me, and I'm like, oh, well, that's nice. <laughs> Shouldn't it be, uh, like, well, I would expect her to be like, if you keep doing that, you're gonna break it. Not if you keep doing yeah. that, I'm giving it's it to like, someone else. You know the the gift you gave him like a week ago? Yeah. Somebody else has it now. <laughs> That's not why I bought it for that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I suppose once the gift's out of your hands, into someone else's hands, it's not really yours anymore. I had an instance like that before uh, for my birthday. One of my friends, he, he's he's gonna li be listening to this and be like, "It was one time," but he, uh, I'm not gonna say who because it's it's just hilarious if I don't. But he um, he had this Indiana Jones uh, action figure that he bought for me. And it was the one of, I think it was the Last Crusade. Yeah. And there was like the the Holy Grail tablet or whatever, and you, but it was like broken or whatever, so it was like, a, it was like a cool little collectibles yeah. thing with it. So, um, and you know you squeezed the guy's legs together and he cracked the whip, so that was really cool. So, he gives it to me, at the party, I open it, I'm like, wow, thanks. And then later he's like, hey, so can I have the the grail tablet the collectibles item <laughs> off of the thing that i just gave you for your birthday oh, no. <laughs> and i'm like no he's like asking for something 
that's part of what he gave you? Yeah. That's right. And I was like, why? Why are you doing this? And he's like, well, I bought it for you. But the p- are you are you hearing yourself? Yeah. The last part of the sentence. I bought it for you. Yeah. It's for me. And uh, I remember like a few weeks after that, he was he kept trying to like take it without me seeing it. And I kept catching him. I'm like, Stop. like with gifts, that's a definite no go. Like yeah. one thing that I understand that people do a lot is like, let's say you buy somebody some food, mm-hmm. and you're like, hey, I'm g- I'm gonna take some. <laughs> yeah. Like, but I'll buy you some fries. Yeah. Like, but if it's like the if it's like the thing, like when you get it, so they're like, hey, can you get me food? Only if I can have some. Like that's fine. But if it's yeah. like I'm buying you food for your birthday, I'm taking you out to dinner, but I'm eating half of your plate. That's just yeah. like no. <laughs> yeah, that's not so bad. <laughs> but yeah, so that happened to me, and then like we laugh about it now, but it was, it was really stressful at the time because I was like, I'm gonna stop being your friend if you don't stop it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> it was like really serious. But yeah, like with Johnny and Isaiah, like you know, I'm not a big fan of kids. Like I have a hard time oh with yeah. them just because I didn't grow up around any kids mm-hmm. or have any siblings, but. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to get to like th- those two. I like Johnny more than Isaiah, but that's just because uh, Isaiah. I think he's younger, a year yeah. or two younger, Isaiah's and younger. I don't. I don't know him as well. Because mm-hmm. Johnny, he's like a, he's like hardcore all the time. Yeah. <laughs> oh, like he uh he hypes things up a lot. Like yeah. More than some of the kids my age that I know. Like one time I was uh over there and. He was talking about some kind of, like, what kind of music I like. And I was like, oh, you know, I mainly listen to rap. Mm-hmm. He's like, do you know Tupac? <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, yeah, I know who he is. And he's like, they say he's, he was one of the rap gods. <laughs> one <And> of them? <laughs> <laughs> and Mitch is like, no, Johnny, he was a man. <laughs> he was not a god. <laughs> Tell that to Eminem, bitch. <laughs> So I th- I thought that was funny. Yeah. <laughs> but there's a, he's a he always talks about a lot of things. But did you know that this? Yes, Johnny. Yeah. You know. Cuz he he's always asking about like a lot of material things for someone his age. Mm-hmm. Like he always asks about me and Kay's cars and all this stuff. Yeah. And he was talking about how this one uh Dodge, I don't know, some old Dodge goes like 300 miles an hour. And I'm like, no, it doesn't. But yeah, no, but he no. was like, I was like, no, it doesn't go 300 miles an hour. It's, you know, it's a classic car. I mean, I'm sure it can get up. But And then he was like, does, does your car go over 300 miles an hour? <laughs> and I was like, I wanted to tell him yes. <laughs> so he would like be impressed. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, no, no, no. <laughs> What cars do go over 300 miles an hour? Well, it's like indie cars. It has to be indie cars are like, as far as production cars go, almost none. Yeah. Because the Bugatti only goes in the 250 range. Mm-hmm. And the the Hennessy Venom GT, which was made just to break the production car record, yeah, only went 280. Wow. So as far as you're, none, <laughs> essentially. Yeah, so basically no. <laughs> You want to go 300 miles per hour? Get a plane. <laughs> yeah, I like fast cars. Yeah. What was I gonna say? I was gonna say something about Johnny, but then I totally forgot. <laughs> <coughs> well, did did we tell you tell you about when uh, Kay got him to say vagina on accident? Oh no. <laughs> Does it? D- do you know about that? No. Uh. So when we were at the, the, I think the last dinner that we had together when the grandparents were over, because mm-hmm. uh, apparently Angie had already told them about moving, you know, going back to Africa, and there's a guy there that, yeah, you know, they might be getting married and all that. Yeah. And I guess Kay didn't know it, but we were. She was saying she was going to talk about it, you know, to her grandparents, and we all kind of wanted to be there for that, just to see the just reaction, to see what they would say and stuff. Yeah, and. Uh, I feel like <laughs> her grandparents are like the, the like the white people who are like, oh no, racist. Yeah. Like they're like, oh, you can't mix races they can, like that. They can you know? be like that. So, uh, 
You can mix races like that, by the way. <laughs> That's not my opinion. <laughs> yeah. So she wasn't. She was being hush about it, and so Kay was like saying something, and Mitch was like, "What's What's Angie doing?" And Kay was like, "You know, she whispered it like she's peeing up vagina." <laughs> and <laughs> wait, wait, who whispered it to who? Kay whispered that to Mitch. Oh. And like jo- she was just messing around. <laughs> and Johnny was like, somehow heard it. Like I could barely hear it. He was like, she's being a vagina. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody was like, no, Johnny. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Was hold this a on. dinner? Yeah, it was like a doing? catfish cabin. Oh, my. So everybody was laughing about it, but like right off the bat, no, Johnny, don't say that. Oh, my God. Andrew did something similar, and he didn't know what it meant either. It was like in Target. I think he heard, like, a YouTuber say it somewhere, and he was just like, I don't remember what he said, but, like, he just said it really loud in Target. Yeah. My mom's like, where did you hear that? And he said it again, <laughs> and I was like, stop. I had a, one of those moments, it wasn't like a bad word, though, but even, like, as a freshman in high school, that was yeah. really uh, embarrassing. And that was uh, my, f- it was freshman English, and mm-hmm. the teacher was like, she looked really high strung. You know, she's just one of those women her face is red. Yeah. Her eyes are like completely wide open and bloodshot all like the time. Like she's stressed out all yeah. the time? Well it yeah. just looks like it and she okay. talks like it, even if she's not. And so she was a little bit intimidating for me at mm-hmm. first. And one day I got I had gotten this shirt, uh and I don't know where I got it, but it said Carpe Diem on it. Yeah. <laughs> Have I told you the story before? No, but I'm I'm thinking about it all the time that you're like carpe diem. <laughs> so it said carpe diem on it, and so I come into class that day, yeah. and like almost instantly when she sees the shirt, she like walks straight up to me. Well, I'm sitting down by then, but she like walks really fast right up to me, gets straight in my face. It looked like she was pissed. Oh my! And she's like, "Do you know what that shirt means?" And so I expected it was about to be, like, something bad. Mm-hmm. And I was like, well, I didn't know what it meant at the time. So I was like, okay, I could probably get in trouble for whatever's so on this shirt. So you're just going to be like, uh, no. So what I did was, uh, so it's Carpe Diem. So I, f- I was just like, I faked, like, this uh, excuse of what I thought it was. Mm-hmm. And I was like, uh, it's a type of denim jeans. <laughs> oh my God. Type of denim jeans? <laughs> Oh, carpe like diem. Carpe <laughs> denim. <laughs> and <laughs> you should make like a, a brand <laughs> for the for like jeans and like yeah. carpe denim. And uh that'd be so funny. So that the whole class started laughing at me, obvi- yeah, obviously obviously. Yeah. And the actually that name's for a couple people that was like my name that stuck for a year. They or two. just called you Carpe Diem. Yeah. Hey, there goes Carpe. Or, hey, there's type of denim jeans. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that was. But I figured at worst it would just be like an ignorance plea. Like, yeah. If I just fake, fake something. What did she say? She told me what it meant, but she got a little agitated. She thought I was screwing around. Hmm. Be, uh, you know, rightfully so. So w- was she actually upset that you were no, wearing No, she it? wasn't. Like, she just comes off as, like, kind of like Haley at work. You know how her, she can be, like, mm-hmm. seem really angry about something just because her tone's so strong? Yeah. But she's not? Yeah. It's kind of like that. I, I, there's a there's a lady here who's like that, too. Yeah. Yeah. Who, uh, from the village? Yeah. Who? Maranoff. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't, I don't know names very well. I've heard hers a lot, though. Yeah. Is that Johnny's wife? Yep. Okay. She can she can just have these wide eyes sometimes and be like, well, I don't think we should do that. And, like, just the way she says it makes it sound like she's, like, really, no, we can't do that at all. And, uh, y- yeah. It doesn't matter what it's about. But, like, sometimes she just seems really stressed out. And we used to live with them, and it would seem like she was mad at me all the time. So I just stayed out of her way. Yeah. Well, as far as English teachers go, that was usually always my best teachers. Cause the high-strung ones? Well, no, just English teachers in general. As oh, far as oh, okay. 
because aside from her, uh, it always seemed like, because I was pretty quiet, mm -hmm. I guess, in class, and I had long hair, like, yeah. the, you know, the emo long hair boy look, mm -hmm. and I just felt like all the English teachers thought I was, like, some, some great romantic who was, <laughs> jeez, like, on this bed a, of roast a troubled soul. Oh, I see. So they always tried to fix you? Well, they always were really helpful to me, like, oh. uh, c compared to a lot of people. Like, if I spoke or said something, it would be, like, taken in reverence for no reason. Hung up on the wall <laughs> <laughs> in, uh, uh, what is it called? Never mind. Uh, but, so they think s since they're in English, they'd just think that you would, uh, like, grow up to be a poet or yeah. something? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I th it was just more like how I looked and my style was kind of like that. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, from the misunderstood perspective. Yeah. And I don't know. They just ate that up for some reason. <laughs> like, I had one, I think my junior year uh, English teacher was a, she, she was, me and her were like really close, like so close to like, I didn't have to come to class or all right, and she would just be like, "Hey, that's okay." Like you could skip a day, and yeah. she'd just be like, "Ah, oh, it's fine." <laughs> exactly. Why were Why was she that close to you? I don't know. I just, I guess you know how you know teachers like, can anyone tell me yada yada? Mm -hmm. And I was always just the best at giving, giving the answer at what she thought her interpretation. So you were the teacher's pet in junior year. Well, at least in that class, definitely, mm -hmm. I would say. And one time, uh. There was this uh, one girl who was talking to me, and we were I was at lunch, and she was like, uh, she had to go back to class because, you know, they do different groups and periods for lunches. And so I was like, what class are you in right now? Yeah. And she's like, oh, Miss Kimmons, you know, English. And so this was, uh, you know, I, I had was still in the class at that time, and I was like, oh, you don't have to go back to class. Just tell her you're you're with me. <laughs> Just tell her you're with me and you'll be fine. Oh she yeah, she, she she leaves <laughs> me alone. You can you'll be fine as yeah. long as you yeah. And like, literally like later that day, she's like, yeah, um, I'm in in school suspension for like the rest of the week. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> well, did you tell her yeah. that you were with me? Yeah. And she's like, I did. It didn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was I was just with Matt doesn't matter if you're with him. Only Matt has that excuse. <laughs> Matt can go anywhere he wants. <laughs> you, however, have limits. Yeah. So I kind of felt bad about it, but at the same time, I didn't think the girl was actually going to go say that yeah. to her. Hmm. Poor soul. <laughs> she actually didn't hold it against me, though. Really? I would have probably held that against somebody. Like, oh, you got me in school suspension. <laughs> and then not talk to you for the rest of your life. Yeah. I've actually never done a lot of public school. I was in public school for about three grades, and then I was homeschooled. I mean, I thought high school was a really good experience. If yeah, I think it's something a lot of, uh, even homeschoolers should probably sign up when they go to high school. Actually, I'll, uh, there's a couple kids that did, guys that I knew, and believe it or not, they were all a lot like Zach. Yeah. Like, they come into public school, and they don't really know how serious people can take things. Oh, yeah. People take things so seriously. End up just pissing everybody off. Yeah. At least until their first year or so. They're, like, really hated because they're an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm thinking it's going to be like that in this college I'm th thinking about going to. Yeah. Well, college, it probably won't be like that, just because... Probably not as bad, yeah. but... People, uh... Plus now, everybody's so, uh... Edgy. Yeah. <laughs> but there's always gonna be the, the athletes who are like, Oh! You borrowed money from me! It was only a dollar. Well, I'm gonna kill you! Well, <laughs> you're gonna... Oh, you know. <laughs> yeah. I don't remember that exact quote. Because I had that. But I would say, I mean, for development, it's probably not good for for, you, for the early, at least middle school is not good for development. No, I don't think it is. Because it was hell. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, it, I, I had the real life impression of my first day of high school would be a fight for my life. Yeah. But it wasn't. <laughs> I have this impression that college is going to be like, oh, you know, but. Well, you know, like. Be real nice. Like, I was probably would have done it anyway, but, you know, I had incentive to go after school mm-hmm. because I had, a, you know, I had enough scholarships to go to. I went to the Martin campus. Uh, that was, it's not like the main home campus, but it's over there on the way to Jackson, right off when you get out of Salma on the bypass. Mm-hmm. And so right after, I, like next year, I went, I was still working at YDI part-time, but yeah. I was also taking classes there. And uh, honestly, it uh, it was awful. The ca- The college was? Well, the college wasn't awful, just like <laughs> the... The energy was awful. Mm. And I'm not, like, there was none, is what I'm saying. Like, there was zero energy. Like, every kid there with me, like, what it looked like they wanted to kill themselves, <laughs> the entire class. Mm. It wasn't like in school where teachers are like, they're giving these passionate speeches and kids are like, you know, oh, giving wow, that's good. Yeah, really that's cool really feedback. Nice. It was more like mm. drooling and just mm. people strung out. That shouldn't be how the college is. <laughs> It really shouldn't, and that's really how it was. And it seemed, it really inspired me to like. I want to be a teacher. Not fix it. <laughs> to like do something else. Like, even when I, I had a really good setup and I had money in the bank, and, uh, you know, I was, I still was living with my ex girlfriend mm-hmm. uh, at the time. That, I literally almost. Like, just got out of class one day, got in my car, and just drove away. Like, away from Selmer, away from your job, <laughs> like, away from everything? <laughs> Me? Like, literally, like, just drove her to the other side of the country. Mm-hmm. All right, got, get the, all the money that I had and just my car, my car and all the money that I had and just leave. Yeah. And not that that's always a bad idea. Like, I know it's a radical idea, but sometimes you just get, you got to be radical to find yourself yeah and it was really an inspiring time those college classes because deeper than that (laughs) when they're talking all i'm thinking is you know i could really just walk up out of here right now leave yeah (laughs) yeah i hope that's not me because some of the teachers i was looking at they're like oh everything's great here so well i'd advise you go to a more engaged Oh, college. it seems engaged because they've got people, um, like they say that they do a lot of hands-on stuff and yeah. they've got pictures and they've got people testifying of it when they're there. So it's, well, like it, there's a, a couple of great laws that you get told in school and it turned out to be true. The high school law was true and that's that. Uh, so like it starts with the kindergarten, whatever mm-hmm. your teacher at the end, she goes, you know, you gotta, you really gotta put the work in and focus on this stuff. This is even in kindergarten, because in first, second, third grade, they're not going to treat you like I do here. Nope. And then, but they they really do. And then yeah, they do. Those grades come, and they they tell you the same thing. And then, middle school they go, and high school it's not going to be easy. You know, you can't just be making excuses in high school and get and getting by. When you can. But you actually that exactly was how it was. Like they tell stories about how oh, you did a, you know. A 20-page essay, and you left it in your locker before class. Well, you're just gonna get a zero for it. Mm-hmm. But really, only asshole teachers are like that. Most yeah. teachers are like, "Oh, you know, just go get it. Don't let it happen again." Mm-hmm. They're not just gonna flat out fail you for yeah. accidentally not bringing it into class. And so, and then they tell you the same in college. Like, uh, they're not gonna take care of you in college. Or they're not going to make sure. Yeah, I've seen so many memes about that where they're like, no, college is going to be really hard. You're going to have to study all the time. And then just like pictures of people partying and drinking and then someone asleep while someone's giving a lecture. But now as far as the the off campus I went to Mm -hmm. of Martin, it really was like that. Yeah. The teachers were only there to recite what they had already laid out. And any feedback or questions were just thrown to the wayside and everything. Yeah, if you didn't Mm -hmm. 
do it, you were just that was it. Right. And even being like I, I didn't uh, good enough in my classes to like stay, but just what that at least wasn't for me. Mm-hmm. And uh, most of the people there, it wasn't for them either. Believe me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'd like to think that I was pretty good during the classes I did, because even though we did like homeschool stuff, yeah. there was a segment, I think it was of my last year in high school where we did uh, these actual classes. Like I would go out there on like once a week, and I would take three different or two different classes. Yeah. And uh, I'd actually have to do <coughs> assignments for them, and um, I think I was pretty good at doing all that. Yeah. Well, th- <laughs> you want to hear a funny story about it? Sure. There was this one time. Uh, my teacher, like, we ended up moving to to her house to for class, and um, we had this big test coming up. So we did, I we did the test. Next week we come in, and she's like, "I'm very disappointed in you guys." And I'm like, "What? Oh no, did I fail the test?" Like yeah. I was like, "Oh crap! I did my very best. That means I did something wrong. I, I messed up like really bad." So she's she spends like a good forty five minutes like. I can't believe you guys didn't study for this. To everyone, she's telling yeah. everyone this. So I'm like, oh no, I'm dead. Yeah. And then she finishes. She's like, gives the test back to everyone. She gives mine to me in front of everyone and goes, "You're the only one who didn't fail this test." Oh, well, that's nice. Like in front of yeah, them. Yeah, that's though, gotta make you like, feel good, though. Uh, it did, but then at the same time, I'm like, "You poor souls! You just <laughs> sat there and watched me." Yeah. And I was like, "Oh, I thought I was dead." And then she's like, I give you new life. Hands me the test. You thought she'd be like, out of all the kids, you were the one who did the worst. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, no. Because I really look up to her. So I was like, please. Yeah. I'm doing my best. And, like, everyone else actually failed it, but I, I passed it. And she's like, you did the very best. Like, if I had, like, a 98 on it. Yeah. I was like, thank God. But, see, like, even the, the English teacher thing even carried over to my college class. Because... Mm-hmm. At least, I don't know if you know, but, like, your bachelor, associate's bachelor's, you know, et cetera. You at least have to have pretty much two more years of your okay. your basics, yeah. your Englishes, your histories, maths, or at least, you know, two courses at it in two years Yeah. To get, to get all those in. And so I was doing that, and in the English class, that was probably the one I slept in the most. Honestly, English classes were my most slept in class. But it never seemed to matter. Like you slept during the class? Yeah. Wow. And uh, so at the end of it, uh, I think a lot of the teachers probably knew I wasn't going to stick it out just because, I mean, my grades were there, but mm-hmm. you know, I wasn't really motivated for it, at least that mm-hmm. in that uh, place. So uh, on the last paper uh, for the semester, I guess, uh, they she wrote notes to people. Like on the, like on the tests. Yeah, like to okay. have a okay. you know have a good uh, break, uh, mm-hmm. etc. And mine was like written something like, "You always had the best things to say and the best, uh, you know, you viewpoints." And it was a little bit longer than that, but that was pretty much a summarized version. And she hmm. signed it, "You always," like "You always," <laughs> like. <laughs> like, are, are all your teachers, like, in love with you or something? Like, all the English It's teachers? only the English ones, though. Oh but God. I was like, this is crazy. And I was, like, showing, like, my classmates, like, what is it? Do people sign you always? Like, what yeah. does this mean? What and none it? of theirs were like that. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> you got a love letter on your desk. <laughs> uh, Yeah. I kind of got the same kind of feedback as a student. Like they were always like, "Oh, you did, you always give good feedback and stuff." So. Yeah. And there was. Uh, there was an art teacher there, Mr. Souders or something. Mm-hmm. And if you don't know him, he's actually like a pretty big name person. Really. Like, even though he worked at the off campus, if you were to mention him to anybody who knows about art around here, yeah. they'd probably uh, know him. And so he was the teacher there, um, and he's, like, really old, like, 70 mm-hmm. plus. And well, by that, I mean he looks really looked really old. Okay. And he had, like, an eczema tank, 
you know, he couldn't breathe. Hmm. And but he was like a hard ass, hardcore. <laughs> oh no. And like one of the first things we did I- for college, it's even like this is stuff they do in kindergarten where they're like, here's a sheet for the first day. Tell me about yourself, some of your hobbies. Why do you like art? You know, et cetera. Mm-hmm. And I was talking about, you know, because at that time I was doing the two job thing and yeah, all this other stuff. And I, t- I told him about that. And that and I was like a motivated person. And he like instantly like discredited me. <laughs> what? The fact that you had two jobs and you were a motivated person? Yeah. Th- he was like, oh, this guy's has no artistic, uh, you know, aspects in his body because he's just so business. <laughs> what? <laughs> How does that make sense? I, I don't know. You'd think if you were a more motivated person, you'd make more inspiring things. Yeah. I mean, I'm not saying people who aren't motivated yeah. don't have inspiring things, but at the same time. Yeah. Th- but so they also – this was pretty strange to me because – Actually, you know how there's a lot of stuff in movies and TV shows where mm-hmm. in real life it just it isn't like that. Yeah. So believe it or not, they have a, a they still have it actually, uh, nude art drawing, at that campus. Oh, really? Yeah. And oh, <laughs> sign me up. <laughs> so and he would he would suggest you know people do it in the class. Mm-hmm. He'd be like, because uh, it paid a you're not gonna be there too long. Maybe a couple hours, but it paid fifty dollars an hour to to be the one painted. Yeah. Oh, okay. To be the one painted, so that's a pretty good chunk of change. Yeah. I mean, you're there. You're probably gonna do it once a week tops. And yeah. I'm not sure if they they do repeat sometimes, mm-hmm. but you know, you make two two fifty maybe. Hmm. So you know, I had thought about doing it. <laughs> <laughs> I never did. You, d- did you ever actually do it though? No. Okay. And but what ended up happening happening was, uh, well, it's see, it's weird because it, the people who do it, mm-hmm. the it's not inside the. I mean, it's inside the classroom, but there's a board outside his classroom, okay, in the hallway, and artwork goes up on it. And so you'd see these <laughs> nude pictures of people in the hallway, like were they graphically nude or were they like just? Well, I mean, not like you know exposed like pornography type stuff okay. but like just like yeah legitimately full full frontals and backs and stuff hmm. so it was complete nudity and you'd see the these people you went to school with or you're going to class with and they're just like up on the wall drawn like 20 times by different people <laughs> draw me like i'm in your art class but uh it's kind of like i don't it's kind of upsetting to think about like not to be rude but so in my class, there was a, you know, only one person signed up for it, and it was this girl, and she was like the most unattractive girl in the class. Oh no! <laughs> and like, I mean, I'm not saying <laughs> that only attractive people yeah. should do it, but yeah. at the same time, people probably were like, yes, "Can we get someone else too?" You know? Yeah. Well, she did it, and uh, well, like that. At least she wasn't ashamed to yeah. do it. Yeah, I like I didn't think it was bad, but they uh a lot of people who drew her like really butchered her. Hmm. Like I'm not saying that she like there's no way <laughs> they like really went over yeah. overdid it over like. the top to make her look bad. Yeah, I felt like it, and because hmm. people when they saw it, everybody was like, "Man, they they didn't do it right." Just like cringing as they walked yeah. by. That's terrible. <laughs> but it was odd for me to think about the this old guy like being there. Oh, the guy who was talk like the hard ass guy who told yeah. you that you you can't do art if you're yeah. motivated. Being like sitting there watching it. them paint someone naked. Yeah. It's Ugh. <laughs> Gosh. We probably need to end this soon, don't we? Yeah, probably. It's been forty four minutes. Do you have any thing to add? <laughs> like what? I don't know. Um, Outros. We, we didn't even have an intro, Matt. We didn't do anything at the beginning. Well, no, we didn't, but it was a precursor to the feel. Okay. See, we've kind of opened a window of how we're going to do it now.
So it's just gonna we're gonna talk about what we're doing and then we're gonna be doing it. Well, I mean, like now it's 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 pretty much just getting the the choppiness out of the way. Mm. We're kind of doing that right now too. We're talking about how we're gonna. <laughs> end. But I mean, like now, if we pick topics, we'll be able to flow into them better. Yeah. Because we've we've already. I mean, I think we pick topics fairly well. Yeah. Is somebody knocking on the door? Probably. Come in, I guess. Obviously, we're recording. What's up? Yeah. Okay, well, I put everything in your room. Close the door. Closes it as slowly as humanly possible. Yeah. <laughs> well, we didn't even pick out a name for this yet, did we? No, are you going to... Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna I thought we would talk about it while we were recording, but we just totally did something else. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't well, it wasn't bad, but it was good totally something else. Idea would probably be to get like a sheet or a list of just things that we want to cover, and then we'll just work them in mm -hmm. as we go through. Yeah, how many podcasts do you listen to? Like, not many. No. Yeah. I only listen to like two. Which ones? Well, it's they're they're like social media presence people. Um, I listen to one called Views by uh, David Dobrik and Jason Nash. And then um, there's one called I'm Sorry Dad by Rai Dune and Brandon Calvillo. Yeah. yeah. So I listen to those two. But that's yeah. basically it. Well, so what do you think about the video thing? Oh, we okay. could do that next time, I think. Yeah. I don't know how... We'll we have to incorporate more of, like, flair, I guess, and the per our personality. Well... I think we had some flair. Yeah. But I mean, like, when people do the podcast, they're always like high energy. Like, well, what what kind of podcasters are you watching? <laughs> <laughs> really? I don't know any. Well, I guess there are some. Like, yeah. uh, I think his name's Joe Rogan. Mm -hmm. Do you know him? I think so. He's really low energy, <laughs> but he's a huge podcast. Yeah, Ry Dune does. He's kind of low energy too. He kind of sits back and like listens more than he does. He's kind of like me right now, so. I don't know. I suppose we could do the camera. I don't think it'd make that much of a difference. Yeah. We could uh, have it set up where we sit on the couch, I guess. Well, I think it helps getting uh, people interested in it. Yeah. Because everybody's so visual these days. I mean, I listen to podcasts when I'm working sometimes. Yeah. So, like, I'll just be working and listen to it. Because uh, YouTube has a thing where you can, if you ever... Uh, <coughs> If you have YouTube Red, you can listen to yeah. it. While it's oh, live. without it being open? Yeah. Yeah, I think they should just include that for everybody, honestly. It's like... It would be nice. One of the last stances that they've taken mm -hmm. against just pretty much just streaming music straight off YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> it's like when you're in the car and you're playing a, a, some music off YouTube and you're like, oh, I can't close my phone now. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I can because I have YouTube yeah. Red. Especially with this phone, the the iPhone, I mean the... <laughs> <laughs> oh, iPhone? You switched the to iPhone, Matt? <laughs> the Galaxy S8. Ooh. Dude, if you just slip it, like, it just uh, barely touches something, it'll end up messing up the yeah. the video. It's kind of weird like that. Well, it's a good phone, though. We're kind of rambling into something else here. We should <laughs> yeah, probably end this. Uh, so, the name? <laughs> the name. I don't know. See, uh, should we just do basic? Just what? Call it basic? <laughs> <laughs> no, like a basic like name, like Matt and Eli's podcast, or Eli that's extremely basic. Oh, that's so basic. Okay, so that's a no. We could call it basic. Basic podcast. I bet that's already taken. Probably. I'll look. I'll look it up right now. All right. Um. What about? Like, what kind of name are you thinking? Do you want, like, a one-word name? Or, like, a phrase? Or, like... Let's see. The... Mm. Is it not taken? I don't... I don't think it is. I think the basic... Uh, could work. Like, the basic, or just basic? The basic. Well, I... The reason I say that is the only thing that's popping up is a 
the Basic Income podcast, which is like a hmm. a wealth and money management thing. So we could just be like, thanks for listening to the basic. Bye. Like that. That's not bad. What do you think? That's not bad. Let's do that. Okay. Well, now that we're 50 minutes in. And our only, okay, and our only competition on YouTube is some dude that has eight videos. Is it called the basic? Yeah. Well, this we only have one video for this. So <laughs> I know, but we'll easily. This is eight videos in like eight years. Oh, okay. So he's <laughs> not very active on it. Yeah, not very active. All right. Well, we're gonna be doing one like every week then. Maybe. Yeah, exactly. So. All right then. Uh. Are we ready to sign it off then? Yep. Let's sign off. All right. <laughs> Thanks for watching the basic. <laughs> um, Matt. <laughs> I'm Matt. <laughs> Both people can't be Matt. <laughs> I was making fun of you saying your <laughs> <laughs> saying your name. Okay. All right. Jesus. So. <laughs> All right. And I'm Eli, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be all. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be all. <laughs> oh, I I hope they, I'm sure they did. I'm sure they did.